hostage situation is underway in Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa police say it's happening at Alabama Credit Union. Started around 8.30 this morning where police tell us that they believe just one suspect inside. Not sure how many employees are inside, but it happened before the bank opened. We have Jack Royer from WVUA on the phone right now who is going to join us live uh, with the latest information. You've been working this scene this morning, Jack. What's the latest information you can tell us? Jamie, it's the typical look for a hostage situation we saw it this summer with another one in Tuscaloosa's uh, neighborhood. This one, just a massive outpouring from police. We're hearing the same things you are. One employee, one person at least, inside this credit union, Alabama Credit Union on Bryant Drive. The road has been shut down on both University Boulevard and Paul Bryant Drive at this hour as uh, at least 50 official vehicles, police, sheriff's department, including the helicopter overhead, are all... Uh, working this scene. Tina Richardson from Tuscaloosa Police will only confirm that this is an active hostage situation and they're uh, pretty tight lipped about everything uh, as of now. So, no word on a confirmation of exactly how many people are inside at this point? I'm working on that. Haven't heard anything official and uh, it's just been a hectic morning, not short of breaking news, as you guys know. Uh, after Alabama loses, you may have thought it was a, a quiet morning in Tuscaloosa, but uh, not the case at all here on Bryant Drive outside the Alabama Credit Union. I'm sure an unbelievable feeling as employees were getting to work. It, we're hearing reports that it started at 8.30, which was before the Alabama Credit Union opened. We're also hearing word that they are evacuating businesses in that area. Um, any word on if those employees in the surrounding businesses are actually out? Um, any update you can give us on that? I'm not sure if they're being forced to or if they're doing it by choice, but there are plenty of people leaving other businesses and offices to come out and see what the commotion is. We've also heard, and not confirmed, but heard that there is a hostage negotiator. It may not be worth confirming, of course, as uh, that would be typical of an operation like this. Um, but, yes, plenty of people watching, trying to figure out what's going on, and uh, a hallmark of things like this, plenty of confusion at this point, but plenty of police to handle this situation as well. I know that this is very close to the campus there at uh, University of Alabama, maybe a half a mile um, from the stadium. There's a law school in that area as well as a museum. Some sorority and fraternity houses are nearby. Any word from the University of Alabama on how they are handling this situation as it is so close to campus? They respond to situations, UAPD does, uh, that are close to campus. This, in fact, is one building away from technically being campus. I'm not sure that UA owns or has any affiliation directly with this credit union, but they own the land right up to it. If not the land, it's on. Uh, this is the day that many students will be returning to campus. I've already heard from people that are trying to get back to a, uh, an apartment complex that is directly across the street that they uh, are blocked from getting into now. So this is a uh, strange day for this to happen. It's an overcast day in Tuscaloosa. Students, 37,000 of them, will return to school here uh, today, and classes begin tomorrow. So an inconvenient time, if there's ever a convenient time for a hostage standoff, uh, today is certainly a hectic day for one to take place. I know something that we definitely do not want to hear about or report about this morning, that's for sure. Um, any other words of wisdom that you can give us if you are traveling in that area? Traveling in this area, avoid Bryant Drive and avoid University Boulevard to this point. That means if you want to get onto the UA campus, you should do so by coming through downtown Tuscaloosa. Um, but generally, this area for several, maybe four blocks, from 2nd Avenue, which is a parallel between University Boulevard and Paul Bryant, up to uh, those two roads intersection at University and Bryant. All of that blocked off uh, a, a large perimeter in place by uh, the police department here. So generally avoid the area. That's the advice from officials, and that's what we'll pass along to you guys. One other thing, I know that we're hearing reports of people posting on social media. Uh, that's a big no-no in this situation, right? We as reporters try not to post anything that might compromise the safety of uh, police officers, of course. That goes for uh, anyone here. We're trying to do our jobs. But we will say um, the police are tight-lipped about these things for a reason. They want to protect their officers and be able to execute what they have to do. We have heard no loud noises. We have heard no gunfire. Um, just a lot of police cars gathering around here. So we will report what we can when we know it. Absolutely, and we appreciate you, Jack. Hopefully we'll get to the bottom of this very soon, and everyone will come out safely. But we appreciate your time this morning, Jack Royer with WVUA, who is on the scene covering this uh, chaos this morning that we're learning about over in Tuscaloosa. We appreciate your time. Thanks, Jamie.
We are hearing a hostage situation is underway in Tuscaloosa. That's what we are covering right now. It's breaking news. Tuscaloosa poli police say, if you're just joining us, it's happening at Alabama Credit Union. This is on University Boulevard. You're taking a live look at University Boulevard East right now from our, uh, our camera, Tuscaloosa camera that is on top of DCH. We've learned that the FBI is on the scene. We've heard from Paul Damon with the FBI who tells us that they have a negotiator there assisting. Um, we are hearing that uh, employees um, were inside. Five people were hearing from the credit union uh, that the sheriff's department could have dropped off. So we know at least one person is being held hostage in there. Um, and we're hearing reports, reports of multiple people. We're trying to confirm exactly what is going on inside uh, as they work this active situation. But um, we also know that the University of Alabama sent a UA alert telling people that roads in the area are closed because of a suspected robbery. We're hearing reports of Bryant Drive and University Boulevard East that you should avoid those areas. Uh, they are indeed closed and they're also evacuating businesses in that area as, uh, as they try to get a hold on the situation. We're hearing that one suspect is involved. We have that confirmed uh, by Lieutenant Tina Richardson with the Tuscaloosa Police Department. It happened at 8.30 this morning. So if you can only imagine, just as employees uh, there at the Alabama Credit Union were arriving to work and then something like this happens, I can only imagine probably scary moments that they are going through right now. Uh, we send our thoughts and prayers with them for sure as they are um, inside who, however many, and whoever is inside that building, I'm sure experiencing quite a bit of stress right now under the situation. Um, now, we're just to give you an idea of where exactly this is located. If we could bring that map back up, this will uh, this will kind of give you an idea of what is surrounding there. Uh, this is on Paul Bryant Drive. Uh, Nukes is close by. Also, Arby's. There's a doctor's office in that area. It's about two blocks away from sorority and fraternity houses as uh, students are making and faculty are making their way back to the University of Alabama campus. Uh, the Bryant, Paul Bryant Museum is close by. There's a law school that's right across the road and it's about a half a mile uh, from the stadium. So if you're unfamiliar with that area, that's uh, some of the surrounding businesses and, uh, and places that are in that area there on Bryant Drive. Uh, this is where this active situation is currently taking place. Uh, again, we're hearing from, we're, we're waiting to hear the very latest uh, from FBI as well as, um, as well as Tuscaloosa Police Department. We're gonna go to our newsroom where we're hearing from Matt Fernandez. He's been uh, um, working on this story as it's developing this morning. And Matt, what are you hearing into our newsroom? What's the latest there? Yeah, Jamie, we're trying to gather as much information as possible. Very difficult, obviously, law enforcement, very tied up right now with this situation. But we can confirm that we have talked with Tuscaloosa Police, Lieutenant Richardson, who told us that at least one armed suspect entered the credit union around 8.30 this morning. And we're not sure how many people and employees are inside at this time. As you can see, a very active scene, a lot of law enforcement out there right now. Now, we've learned that the East Edge Apartments, which is nearby that area, is not on lockdown, but they're advised to stay on their property. Their alternate routes in and out of the complex. Residents are advised to use Dr. Edward Hiller Drive. This from the community assistance uh, with uh, the complex, and uh, that's kind of all we have right now. Uh, still a very active scene, multiple law enforcement agencies, dozens of uh, vehicles out there, and as soon as we get some more information, Jamie, we'll pass it on. Matt, we appreciate it so much. As you just heard from Matt in our newsroom, we're hearing that East Edge Apartments is not on lockdown. Uh, they've been advised to stay on the property, though. Alternate routes in and out of, a, of the apartment complex, so residents are advised to use Dr. Edward Hillard Drive. And this is from the community assistant with the complex, and um, we that's very near to where this active situation is taking place. Again, East Edge Apartments not on lockdown, but you are being advised to stay on the property, alternate routes in place. Uh, if you are 
needing to leave or if you are on your way in, residents are advised to use Dr. Edward Hiller Drive. So, um, so the, a bit of information for you there. Um, we also heard from Jack Royer from WVUA, who's been on the scene this morning, saying that uh, very much an active situation that he's seeing there. Helicopters are there. The FBI is on the scene. The police is on the scene there at Tuscaloosa. We have uh, Tim Reed, our Tuscaloosa Bureau reporter, joining us now. Um, Tim, what is the latest that you're hearing? Good morning. Good morning, this Tim. All, hey, this all happened around uh, 8.30 this morning. Uh, the Alabama Credit Union business is located at the corner of uh, Bryant Drive and Jackson Avenue. I am maybe eight, 900 yards away from it. Um, active, active police presence out here. I'm looking at QPD officers, uh, University of Alabama officers uh, wearing SWAT gear, Tuscaloosa police helicopters flying above us. Um, from what we've been told by the Tuscaloosa Police Department, um, unknown amount of uh, employees are inside the business. Um, they believe maybe one suspect may be involved, um, not confirmed if there are any more suspects involved. Um, no word on injuries or demands from the suspect. So uh, that's pretty much where we are. They're, they've uh, evacuated a number of uh, businesses. There are several like um, medical offices here in the vicinity. Um, people are, I'm on uh, Earl Hilliard Drive and uh, a lot of people have evacuated or are standing over here with me. Um, that's pretty much where we are at this point. Well, I know that we are currently hoping for the best, but of course, in a situation like this, we do fear the worst. So what are you hearing? Have you heard any gunshots? Have you heard any tension, anyone talking? What are you hearing there on the scene, Tim? No gunshots at all. We don't even, I don't even know if a gun was involved. Um, police have not confirmed that yet. The original call was that a suspect got in, possibly with a gun, around 8.30. The business wasn't even open yet at 8:30, so I think they—I believe they opened it around nine o'clock. So they're, the police are all are, are on, on scene. They're trying to get this resolved. Um, trying to get some more information for you. Um, let me ask you this: uh, I know that uh, we can assume um, that it could be a robbery, but we don't have that confirmed. Do we have a motive in place confirmed, Tim? I just asked Lieutenant, Lieutenant Tina Richardson maybe two minutes ago: Was this a robbery? And she said no. Not a I robbery. Cannot, cannot confirm that at this point. Do we know what the motive will, what the motive is? No, we do not. No, we do not. Okay. Um, also, we're hearing from Lieutenant Andy Norris uh, on on social media. He says any media on the scene on Bryant Drive refrain from showing live video of officers' positions on the scene. I'm sure you are monitoring social media there. Uh, not a wise idea. Correct. That, that's correct. I mean, you got officers out here in in SWAT gear trying to you know resolve the situation. So their safety is paramount, we, we, will, we will not do that. Any idea on who the suspect could be? Are you hearing any word from police on that? We just don't know at this point, Jamie, we just don't know. Um, police have given us all the information they can give us at this point. Um, they believe it may be a male, that's pretty much all we know. Okay, Tim Reed joining us live from Tuscaloosa as you're continuing to monitor the situation. We appreciate it. Uh, of course, we'll check back in with Tim in just a few moments, but to keep you up to date on what's going on, if you are just joining us now, a hostage situation is underway in Tuscaloosa. Uh, you're looking at a live shot, uh, live um, going on in Tuscaloosa uh, video of what's going on with this hostage situation. As you see a lot of FBI uh, police vehicles I know the University of Alabama police, uh, Tim just mentioned, are there on the scene, as well as the Tuc Tuscaloosa Police Department. They have helicopters in the sky, and we're told by the FBI that a negotiator is there assisting with this hostage situation. It's happening at the Alabama Credit Union. This is on University Boulevard East, uh, which is very close to campus there at University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. Um, we've spoken uh, to uh, some people who say that, uh, some employees who say that um, possibly there are some employees from some of the surrounding businesses that could be inside. We know five other people from the credit union that the sheriff's department dropped off um, are inside. We're working to work, uh, working to gather a, a confirmed number of people that are inside as well as how many are involved in this. We're hearing one suspect is inside right now um, that we have confirmed. Tim said that he's hearing word from police. It could be a male 
We don't have a name or a motive at this point. Uh, we are hearing reports that it is not a robbery. That came from Lieutenant Tina Richardson with the Tuscaloosa Police Department. So we're learning to confirm that information for you and learn more about this active situation. Uh, they are evacuating uh, some of the businesses in that surrounding area. Uh, the police tell us that some, that some of those businesses, as they're being evacuated, Bryant Drive and University Boulevard are closed. So if your travels take you through that area, in and out of that area, please avoid those roads. Also, we're hearing from um, emergency personnel to please do not report, post video or pictures or uh, any word of what the scene is like, because that could give the suspect on the inside more information uh, and could hinder this investigation. So please, uh, from the emergency personnel from the Tuscaloosa Police Department, they are saying please do not post on social media as it could give um, the suspect inside new information that could hinder this. Here's another look for you, a live look at Tuscaloosa from the scene as we're watching uh, some of the uh, members of the FBI, the Tuscaloosa Police, the University of Alabama Police Department as they're trying to get abreast of the situation. And uh, of course, as we mentioned, FBI has negotiators there assisting. So we are working to learn more information for you. We have confirmed uh, that a suspect is inside. We're hearing reports that he is a male. Uh, we are trying to learn and confirm how many people are being held hostage currently right now. We have Matt Fernandez, our reporter, CBS 42 News reporter, live in our newsroom now with an update for us. Matt, what are you learning? Hey, Jamie, yeah, we've been speaking with police all morning trying to gather new information. What we do know is they say there was a armed person inside but it is not a robbery at this time. That's what they're telling us. You can see it's still a very active scene. We have SWAT out there, multiple law enforcement agencies. So obviously, if you're in this area, please stay away. And once again, uh, that apartment complex we mentioned, uh, East, Edgewood, East Edge Apartments is not on lockdown, but it's kind of stay away from that area as uh, police are actively working this scene at this time. Jamie, back to you. Matt, we appreciate it. Thank you for that update. We also have Major Ken Birchfield from the Shelby County Sheriff's Office on the line. Good morning to you, Major. Good morning. How are you? Uh, great. I, I know that we are um, working hard to learn more information about what exactly is going on in the situation. You can shed some light on what this process is like. First of all, I know that they are evacuating businesses in that area. Um, this is, is this mandatory in a situation like this? Uh, well, it is to protect life, so you have innocent people that may be close enough that they could be harmed by the, the subject or subjects that are in there. So their first priority is always going to be to protect life, and so the first thing they're going to do is get anyone that's within a certain area uh, out of there, so to make sure that they're safe and that they don't become part of this active crime scene. Now, what does that process look like? Well, the first thing you've got to do is is make sure that you have a, a an area cordoned off that contains this scene and it contains this person, and uh, that's going to be a, a, an area that's safe for the fir the uh, first responders that show up. And so you also want to get either go door to door or use other means to get people that are not involved in this that are just. Uh, um, that are homeowners, whether they're homeowners or shoppers, or it just depends on what the area is. But you want to get them out of that scene to make sure they're safe. That also allows the first responders that are there, the police department, to focus on what they're trying to do, which is bring this to a safe resolution. Now, for people like me who ha it has a hard time wrapping my brain around an emergency situation like this and what you do, what is it like coordinating, uh, of course, the FBI and the police departments, the sheriff's offices, what is it like coordinating all of that in an emergency situation like this? Well, it's going to be a fluid environment. Luckily, we train for these type situations. Uh, I, I know they do as well, so I'm sure that they're, they're ready for any situation like this that comes up. They'll have uh, people assigned to help with communication issues, and I'm sure that everyone there is going to work with the same mission in mind, and they'll work well together. We do work with our partners quite common. Now, I know that uh, in a situation like this, it's hard to know sometimes and bridge the gap between what is going on outside and what is exactly taking place inside. And uh, we hear reports that FBI has a negotiator there assisting. What is that process like? 
Well, negotiators are great uh, just in general. Uh, you yourself, everybody does negotiations when you have a disagreement with someone. So right now those negotiators are just going to try to make contact with this person, find out what the problem is, and see how we can bring it to a safe resolution. So um, that those, those people are trained to do that. The negotiators are specially trained. They have a lot of training. They have different methods they can communicate with this person. Um, and, and ultimately, the only thing they're going to try to do is bring this to a safe resolution and get everyone to walk out of there safely. Any words of the wise uh, coming from a person in your, um, in your stature? Any, any words of the wise for people who may be in that surrounding area, even in the businesses that are being evacuated, do you have any words of wisdom for them uh, as long as something like this is taking place in their area? Well, I do. I mean, they should shelter in place, remain inside until law enforcement comes to your door and, and ask you to leave. And then if they do that, they'll usually escort you out of the area. If, if law enforcement hasn't deemed that you're in an area that's unsafe, please stay inside so that law enforcement can focus on the matter at hand and not have to focus on you as well. Because you have to understand right now they're still gathering information. They're trying to gather information about who's in there, who's not in there. And if, if you're in the area and you're walking around or you come out just to look and see what's going on, it forces law enforcement to divert resources to now deal with you, even though you really have nothing to do with that. So they should just shelter in place until law enforcement tells them they need to leave for their own safety. So as difficult as it may be, calm is a necessity right now. Absolutely. And law enforcement that's on the scene, all the first responders, the FBI, everybody that's there will be calm. I mean, they. this is one of the things, unfortunately, that we have to do. We train for it. Um, those are all professionals there, and I'm sure that they are very calm. Well, Major Kim Birchfield, we appreciate your time this morning uh, keeping us up to date on what the processes are like in a situation like this. Thank you for your time this morning. Yes, thank you, and good luck to everybody there. Yes, our thoughts and prayers with those folks for sure. Uh, again, if you are just joining us, we have breaking news right now as a hostage situation is underway in Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa police say it's happening at Alabama Credit Union. This is on University Boulevard East, which is very close to campus. We've learned that the FBI is currently on the scene. We've heard from Paul Damon with the FBI, who tells us that they have a negotiator there assisting. Um, we've also heard reports that uh, multiple our employees are in Side. Uh, employees there at the credit union. We're hearing that one suspect uh, is there inside. We're working to learn more information on a name, uh, a motive. We don't know a motive at this point. Uh, at first we heard reports of robbery. That is not the case. Robbery is not the motive. That information coming from Lieutenant Tina Richardson with the Tuscaloosa Police Department. We ha also have heard this happened at 830 this morning before the bank even opened. And they are currently evacuating businesses on Bryant Drive and University Boulevard. Those roads are also closed. So again, if your travels take you through that area, avoid those areas at all costs. We just heard from Major Ken Birchfield, who's telling us that if you are in that area, he is asking you to remain calm as emergency personnel are trained and are working to deal with the situation. Um, they, the evacuation process, even though it can be um, taxing and may be stressful for you there, they will come and notify you when you should leave and escort you out. So again, they're asking for calm there. Some of the businesses that are in that area, uh, just so you can kind of get an idea of where we are talking about here in Tuscaloosa to familiarize yourself with that. There's a Nukes and an Arby's in that area. Also, there's doctor's offices. DCH is, uh, is nearby, the hospital there. It's two blocks away from sorority and fraternity houses. Uh, the Paul Bryant Museum is nearby. There's a law school right across the street from Alabama Credit Union, and it's about a half a mile from the stadium, so very near to campus. And I know that students and faculty are heading back to school. Uh, I believe they start tomorrow, but we're hearing from UA on their website. Uh, they're sending an alert saying that, um, that Bryant Drive as well as University Boulevard is closed, so please avoid that area. We're also hearing from the apartment complex, East Edge Apartments, that they are not on lockdown. That's an apartment complex in that area. Uh, they've just been advised to stay on the property, though. Alternate routes in and out of the apartment complex, if you do have to leave or you are coming in, uh, 
Uh, residents are advised to use Dr. Edward Hilliard Drive. And this is from the community assistant there at the complex. So again, East Edge Apartments are not on lockdown, but you are advised to stay on the property. We're also hearing from Tuscaloosa police to please do not post on social media what you are seeing or post any videos or pictures or thoughts on the scene that could give the suspect inside more information as to what um, the FBI and the police department uh, and the emergency personnel there are trying to do to remedy the situation and get everyone out safely. Um, so again, please do not post on to social media this morning. Uh, we have crews there on the scene live. We're working to learn more information into our newsroom. Of course, if you want up to the minute uh, information, we're also keeping you up to date online, WIAT.com. And again, again, this is such a delicate matter that we are, are treating it delicately as well. So as I tell you, do not post on social media. We're giving you as much information as we are learning from the police department and FBI at this time. We have our reporter, James McConathan, live, who's going to give us an update from his standpoint. Uh, James, what's your update from where you're, what you're seeing? Well, guys, we're seeing a lot of police activity out here. Um, get out of the way here so you can take a look. You've got uh, a lot of police officers here. Um, in their tactical gear, you got tactical vehicles out here. We are at the Alabama Credit Union at Bryant and Jackson Avenue. Uh, this happened around 8:30 this morning. Uh, from what we've heard, at least one person walked into the bank. The bank was not open yet at that point. Uh, it's unknown how many people were inside the bank when this when this happened. When he walked in. Um, here in Tuscaloosa, they blocked off many roads, including Bryant, University Boulevard, and Jackson Avenue. Uh, there are a lot of businesses right here in this area, and many of those have been evacuated. Uh, the staging area here, we're on Earl Hilliard Drive, and uh, we're, we're just across the corner from the bank. We can see, uh, we can see the bank, we can see the sign up there, um, and all of the police cars and the officers surrounding this building. There is a Tuscaloosa Police Department helicopter uh, hovering overhead, and uh, so far we don't have any word on demands or injuries, but this is an active hostage situation. We're going to keep you up to date here on the scene, uh, and uh, when we learn more, we will bring you that information. James, I know that we are uh, still trying to figure out a motive. Any word on what the motive could be? Unfortunately, we've um, we've lost James there, but uh, we are working to confirm that information for you. We are hearing that it is not a robbery that came from the uh, Lieutenant Tina Richardson with the Tuscaloosa Police Department. So we're working to confirm a motive for you as more information rolls into our newsroom.